Hello, everybody. It's been a while. And I'm sure many of you saw recently this kind of unexpected upload of a updated guide to Max Cape for RS3 irons that I made. It's kind of a redux of a guide I made two or three years ago, and I'm sure a lot of you wondered why that happened. Well, um, yeah, I, I want to play the game again. I saw this tweet that I'm hopefully going to put on screen by Eigenscapes. Uh, Overfletch linked it to me a few days ago, and um, it just it just got me interested in the idea of speedrunning to Maxcape again. Taking that old series that I put together and running it back. Actually completing it this time. Now, I'm in a completely different state of life now. I'm not, I'm not entering my last semester of college and then suddenly going to decide, hey, I need to focus and get my GPA up. No. I'm now working a full-time job. I'm now, um, yeah, preparing for a wedding. So I've got this weird time limit where uh, Eigenscapes took about seven months to get there. I realize there's about seven months left in the year. And, uh, oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm having my wedding towards the beginning of next year. So, so it fits really well to try and put a time limit so that I'm going to max this account by the end of the year. Ideally before then, but... You know, I'm down. I'm bound to take some breaks here and there, so I'm not going to be playing a full, like, eight hours a day. Almost definitely not going to be able to clock those hours anymore. I think my average in the past was well over nine. But, look, I was really proud of how quickly I got to max in the past. And I'm going to beat it. And I'm going to beat it with my updated guide. And I'm going to beat it with a new skill added to the game. Uh, since I last played, totally excited to, to get into that. So, anyway... That's where I am. This is the character. I don't know if my recording settings are anywhere near correct compared to what they used to be, but I already know what the character name is going to be. So you've heard of Landscapes. You've heard of RuneScape. It's the game that we're looking at, but have you heard of Llamascapes? There we go. It's time, baby. Ser server is currently... <laughs> busy okay you know what we'll we'll get this sorted out um <laughs> okay we're in it's working llama escapes is here i need to give the account members haven't done that yet it's it's just a straight fresh account and of course i need to uh skip this whole path system uh but first thing to do will be to set up my old interface that's of course the first thing you should do on a new account so uh, yeah, while I get working on that, um, I'm gonna go back to the old, the old clip, clip recording style, you know, clip in here and clip, clip there. Anyway, uh, let me get to that. <laughs> oh yeah, the good old fireworks of gaining membership again. And we're back at it. The new times are just like the old times. First quest done, let them eat pie. All right, boom, my first new quest done, Violet is Blue. Um, looking forward to getting the XP lamps here. Yeah, yeah, so these seem kind of broken because I could just pick, you know, Herblore, Herblore, Herblore or something, and um, I'm suddenly level 16. It's kind of wild. Also, Violet is Blue too immediately after this. Also kind of wild, but that's going to have to wait until tomorrow because it is midnight right now. I started recording at like 11.30 or something because I'm... A little insane. And there's Violet is Blue 2 with the fantastic XP rewards. Let's just throw that in Herblore and Herblore and Herblore again. Y'all y'all know how this goes. Y'all know what these things are supposed to be like and I, I don't even know what these these are. These are apparently cosmetic overrides. It doesn't look like that gives stats. That looks useless. Uh, but yeah, 31 Herblore to start the account is, is pretty wild. Uh, the fact that these quests exist, <laughs> it was really interesting to learn. Um, but you know, I wanted to extend this clip a little bit just to be like, hey, y'all are here. How did you get here? Do you, do you like still have a notification bell going from years ago or, or maybe six months ago whenever I was running my last series or yeah. And you know, how are you guys doing? How have you been since I've been away? That's all. Bam. Druidic ritual done. Normally, 
this unlocks Herb Lord, but uh, I I skipped a step. And there's Wolf Whistle done as well. Bada bing. Uh, I also unlocked the Catherby Waypoint, uh, or, or Lodestone, a little bit early. I've been saying Waypoint every time I meant to go and type Lodestone. I, I typed Waypoint for some reason whenever I was making the guide up. Um, no idea why. Uh, but now it's time to run to Falador, run to Varrock, start Anachronia. Yeah. And as any person probably should when they start Anachronia, I, uh, yeah, I came here, did the tutorial, set up my workers, and then logged out for 20 minutes so that I can build the way, the, uh, the lodestone, lodestone, so that I never have to walk back here. I can just, I can just teleport here. And there's the blood pact done. I think that means it's time for me to grind out straight to 30 mage so that I can unlock Surge. Fun. Actually, it's not quite time for Surge yet. There's about eight more quests to knock out before then. And bada bing, there's Cook's assistant. Ass assistant. Assistant. Oh man, I can't believe that at the end of the Stolen Hearts quest, they, they killed Alcan, man. Bam, buyers and sellers complete for about 500 thieving XP if I just read these pamphlets. Another one down, like three minutes later, restless ghost complete. Oh, and uh, prayer XP lamp, and then just bury the bones. Very nice. And rune mysteries done. That gives some rune crafting XP. Yeah. And there's Rune Memories complete. Um, now to just hope that I can actually get a Rune Sphere in the next, like, six hours. Um, because I can only access the lower floor. And it's on the top floor. Rip. And there's the classic Imp Catcher complete. Amulet of Accuracy. Best in slot, baby. And there's Diamond in the Rough complete. And we use the Lamp on prayer uh well this one goes into hp this one goes into prayer oh baby first time in minifos and corrupted scarabs appear it's time to get popping and there we go quest complete jack of spades also i got this bonus xp star that i have no idea what i'll use on probably probably just herb lore yeah cool 600 bonus xp and there's Call of the Ancestors done, and yeah, now it's time to actually grind to 30 magic. Only 15 levels, not too bad. Bam, there's Shield of Arav taken out. Trying to uh, chain a few quests together. You see I've got the uh, uh, missing presumed death going on, and I'm about to start Priest in Peril as well. Alright, I, uh, I missed the quest complete, but there's Priest in Peril for some prayer. And there's yet another quest done, Missing Presumed Death. One that probably shouldn't be done until a lot longer from now if you care anything about like learning the story of the lore. But, uh, you know, I already know it. So, defense, prayer, and agility. Bam! Time to go get the, uh, the Canopus Lodestone before I forget. Another quest down, Death Plateau. And I think I'm going to do the repeatable delivery task here. It's a master quest cape requirement, but uh, I want to go ahead and get a few more attack and strength levels before I do recruitment drive, just to make sure I don't die. <laughs> and there's a monk's friend quest complete. And there's a big one, waterfall quest completed. Yeah, I was having a little bit of trouble with recruitment drive, so I thought, hey, let's just go get, um, you know, about 50 melee levels. Yet again, deciding to chain quests together, already starting to think of ideas to improve my guide, but bam, there's Dwarf Cannon done, and uh, time to go finish one more. And the last quest that I chained together, yeah, all four of those last ones chained together, all active at the same time. Probably saved myself five or ten minutes by doing so, which is nice. Um, yeah, Trainome Village, ba-bing, 36 attack, now my highest skill. All right, there's recruitment drive done. Just took a little bit of melee leveling first. Let's pop these lamps. Uh, just a little bit of prayer, herb lore, and agility is nice. 
and there's Vampire Slayer done for a huge chunk of ranged XP. Merlin's Crystal done. Probably the fastest quest in the game, but there's Goblin Diplomacy taken care of. But that is a big one. Holy Grail done. Yeah, that's a lot of defense levels. A lot of prayer. 400 total. And almost 50 quest points. <laughs> Perhaps the dullest quest of the game, though, there's Clock Tower done. Yet another quest down on day one. Fight Arena that puts me at 40 attack. That's actually kind of nuts. Not sure how much further I'm going today, but bam, there's a zeal call done. I estimated that it should take 10 minutes in my guide, and that was that was maybe three. <laughs> and tribal totem done. Very easy. And I'm just gonna be finishing off the day doing a little bit of chill woodcutting and fire making for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Uh I just looked back at the last time I attempted this sort of speedrun thing and I got to over 600 total on day one. I don't even know how many hours I put in. It had to have been like 15 or something though. So like, it's not strictly comparable. This is maybe 10 hours of progress or something. I, I don't actually know the, the real number. Y'all are probably going to see it once I pop it up for editing. But um, anyway, that's that's the series. We're, we're getting back into it, y'all. Uh, and, and I'm going to be doing my best to keep up pace and to, uh, well, at least try to max before the end of the year. Probably going to be something like, uh, you know, October, November, if I know myself though. So looking forward to it. Um, 50 quest points in a day is still a lot though. Please, please respect me. Thanks for watching y'all and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>